Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you my indoor photography locations in the Twin Cities. And in most of these locations, you can't bring tripods, you can't bring lights, you can't bring anything that's big or obstructing the path. So just FYI, most of these indoor locations, you know, you do have to be quiet, you do have to respect the area too. So definitely if you're in the area, please respect the people that's around you because, you know, you don't want these places to go and then you know they're just gonna kick every photographer out so I just respect the area respect the people respect the workers be wary of your surroundings and definitely you know help out the area too because these indoor locations wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for you know everyone that's really supporting it I hope that you know if you do go to these places and take photos just have common sense and just be respectful of everyone that's around you thanks so this is the Minnesota State Capitol building here with Penny again to help me model or not help me model but she is gonna model for me this is just one of the staircases that goes all the way down here Yeah, that was the uh, inside of the Minnesota State Capitol. It's pretty nice. Be aware about where you are because there will be people walking around. And also you can't bring lights or any other equipment. So just make sure you bring like just your camera and your lenses and a backpack, that should be fine. But if you bring anything else like a tripod, like a uh, equipment, uh, I don't think they'll let you in. Or if you get caught with it, they're gonna tell you to put that stuff away because it's in the way. But yeah, I mean, if you need any more info, definitely check it out. It's actually pretty cool inside. Pretty nice places that we got to look at too. So this is my other spot where I do photo shoots. This is the library, so obviously you have to be pretty quiet. So <laughs> this is one spot that I can do maybe just one or two people. I wouldn't do a lot, but if you're doing like modeling session, this is a spot to go to. This is Union Depot. As you can see, there are events going on. But it is pretty warm and it is pretty big. This area is pretty well heated. You just go right over here and this goes back to the Union Depot. This is Union Depot. Well, it's a pretty popular place to do photo shoots because there's a lot of space, so definitely check it out. This is another spot to do a, uh, indoors photography when it's too cold outside. This is the Como Zoo Conservatory. Just a lot of people, and you can't bring in like other lights and stuff. But other than that, I mean, it's a really nice spot to do like photos for families, small families, probably not big ones, but maybe three to five, I would say. It's not a bad place to do uh, photos indoors, that's for sure. I think one of my spots I go to, you know, another con about this place is uh, it is very humid inside. So I expect your lenses and stuff to get a little boggy just because it's been really cold. Great place to do some photos. Those were my locations for indoor photography. I hope that helped. 
In most of these locations, you will have to definitely let the people know. And in most of these locations, just please be respectful of the, your surroundings and definitely pick up your after yourselves if you have, you know, your drinks or food and just respect the area. As a photographer, I don't want to be kicked out at these public places. So please be respectful and, you know, definitely go out there, take some photos at these places because it's getting cold. Thanks for watching everyone and I really appreciate it. And if you would, please subscribe and thanks for watching.